And finally tonight, what makes this Vol basketball team such a tight knit group? They're loving all the success in the spotlight, but they're also thriving in their connection off the court. Here's 10 News anchor Russell Biffin. It is the team everyone is talking about. They're fast, fun-loving, and high-flying. But the number one team in the country isn't focused on fame. Instead, they're fueled by faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And it all starts with the head coach. He's a great coach and has a great coaching staff behind him, but at the end of the day, he's a man who loves the Lord. You know, water, plant something where someone can come to know Jesus Christ. I think it's the greatest victory of all because that's the only thing that's going to sustain. You know, this is going to, we're going to leave here one day. So Barnes called on former Vol football player Chris Walker, who's also the campus director for Fellowship of Christian Athletes. When I went home from that day, I was like, man, the Lord is going to do something really cool. Before every game, Walker and a select few give what's called a power talk. They've not just been game changing, but life changing. I would like to hope that every program could have something like this. This year has been incredible spiritually because I'm seeing guys different than what they were last year. And it was only because they took their, their relationship with the Lord very seriously. And one talk in particular has left a special mark on the team. Some guys write it on their wrist before games. A01 simply means audience of one. Literally, I try to get them to picture Thompson Bowling Arena with all the seats, but with one person in the stands, and that's God. And you, he's the only person that you are there to, to please and that you aim to please. Obviously, we want to give the fans a good time and, and win, and win for our coaches and, and our staff and everybody, but really, we're, we're just playing for an audience of one. And if you take all the, the cheering and all the hoopla away, and it's just you playing for God, it changes everything. Are you going to get the uh, tattoo of the A01 or get the, write it on your hand or something like some of these guys? Well, you know what? I would always probably tell them I'd rather put it on my heart, you know? Amen. And even with all the highlights this season, the team's favorite dunks have happened off the court. That's the first time that I've had any teammates baptized. The cooler thing was to see their team there and to see Coach Barnes there um, when none of those guys had to be there. But it's that important to them to celebrate their teammates uh, getting baptized, and I thought that was one of the most beautiful things we've ever done. And while winning is the goal, Coach Barnes realizes it's not the ultimate goal. And I like to think that through what we talk, through our power talks and everything, that there are life lessons there and that those guys can carry that with them when, when things aren't going well. And But even with all that said and done, when we walk off the court, the greatest victory that has been won is what Jesus Christ did for us. Russell Biven, 10 News. Tremendous, mm -hmm. and their actions show on and off the court. We appreciate you watching.